Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris, man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. And today we're going to do another How to Play. And the selection today is Red Bones, Come and Get Your Love. This song came out, I think, like in the early 70s uh, from a Native American group. Big hit. I remember as a kid watching them perform it on uh, Midnight Special. And everybody loved it. It's a classic. And to this day, people still want to learn how to play it. Uh, I have a recorded or play along version of this on my channel. And the reason why I'm doing a breakdown without the music is uh, eventually all the play along stuff's going to be taken down <clears throat> because of the copyright issues. So uh, I don't want to get caught in the crossfire again. So what I'm trying to do is transfer as many of these classics over in this format as I can. Some of them I won't be able to because without the music you just kind of get lost as far as where you're supposed to be. But this is a real pretty simple song. It's just four chords, and then at the intro, there's just this little guitar lick, which is uh, it starts on the seventh fret, and uh, it's the G string and the D string. It's just That is the, the timing. And all it is is uh, E minus 7, A major, D minus 7, or D major 7. So it's E minus 7, A major, D major 7, B minor. It's the whole song. And throughout the song, they change up the rhythm a little bit during the chorus, but it's the same chorus, just those four chords. So that's it. Uh, again, you know, I hate to sound like a broken record, but, you know, basically these videos that I do now is for to teach you how to play these songs, not to teach you how to play your guitar. Uh, I'm not really going to get into it. My finger goes here, my finger goes there, because that's kind of a beginner stage, and uh, you can't skip the, the, the basics or the fundamentals before you get into trying to learn how to play songs. Because, again, a lot of people don't, internet now think that they can just pick up a guitar and never play one, watch somebody's fingers on YouTube and follow them become good guitar players. You just become a dabbler. What you want to do is learn the basics and the fundamentals. And I have a four set DVD set, close to four hours in a lessons where I walk you through the basic chords and I do show you where you put your fingers at. But when I do show you that, you know why your fingers are there as opposed to, uh, just put your fingers here and just try to memorize the finger placements. So, uh, you know, I've been playing guitar for over 30 years, professionally for over uh, tw since I was 21. So uh, I went through the trial and error of finding a guitar teacher that would teach me what I need to know and cut out that fluff because the majority of the stuff that they teach you, unfortunately, is stuff you never use. And they don't teach you enough of the stuff that you need to know to play the songs you want to play. But with my four set DVD lessons, uh, you can play just about 90% of the stuff on the radio today, if not maybe 98%, because just basically th minor chords, major chords, and seven chords, major seven chords. That's usually about it. So, uh, signing off for now. That's your lesson for now. Red Bones, come and get your love. Until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.